Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the global demand for food in the UK. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Let's start off with some key definitions. Food security. This is when all people at all times have access to sufficient, safe, nutritious food to maintain a healthy and active life. This is a definition from the 1996 World Food Summit. But the variation of calorie intake across the globe highlights that many people suffer from food insecurity. This can lead to two things. It can lead to undernourishment, which is a condition of not eating enough food to continue to be in good health, or malnutrition, which is a serious condition that happens when your diet does not contain the right amount of nutrients, either not enough or far too many, with the former being the issue here. However, the issue isn't that we don't have enough food across the globe, as we have plenty for everyone. It is that food is not distributed evenly. Adult men need around 2,500 calories and women need around 2,000 calories per day. If the total food in the world was shared equally, everyone would get around 2,700 calories per day, which is more than enough. But there are some countries where the calorie intake is much higher than 3,000, such as the USA, and some countries where it is lower than 1,000, such as many of those countries in sub-Saharan Africa. As well as calories, we have to consider the types of food available to different people. In HICs, nearly a third of our diets are made up from protein-rich meat, fish, eggs and dairy products, which is then supplemented with lots of starchy food such as potatoes, bread, rice and pasta. This gives us lots of energy and essential fibre, calcium, iron and vitamins. Whereas in many LICs, 75% of the diet is made up of cereals and tubers, which have a low nutritional value. So why has the global demand for food increased? There are two main reasons that the demand for food has increased across the world. The first and main reason is global population growth. In 1950, the world's population was estimated to be around 2.5 billion people, increasing to around 6 billion by 1998 and 7 billion in 2010. On the 15th of November 2022, the global population hit 8 billion, which was considered a huge milestone in human development, taking just 12 years to increase by 1 billion people. The global population is predicted to hit 9 billion people in 2037, taking 15 years to increase by another billion, which does show that overall population growth is starting to slow down. However, we need to remember that the countries with the highest level of population growth are those countries that are already struggling with resources and are already experiencing food, water and energy insecurity. So therefore, population growth is likely to lead to more people suffering from undernutrition. Countries with the lowest gross national income, or GNI per capita, also tend to have the highest fertility rates, meaning that the global population growth is mainly concentrated in the poorest countries, usually in sub-Saharan Africa. In fact, population growth across the whole of Africa is 2.5% per year, compared to just 0.1% in Europe. The second reason is economic development. As countries start to develop economically, the diet of the population also starts to change. The higher standard of living means that people in LICs start to eat more like those in HICs, eating more meat, fish and dairy products. They move away from a cereal-based diet and the grain starts to be used as animal feed, rather than a staple for humans. This means that demand for food increases overall. Increased wealth is also linked to an increase in the demand for processed and convenience foods, which have been a huge part of the diet of HICs for decades. It means that people are eating more calories, but it means that their diets are not necessarily healthier than they were before. And even though people are eating more calories, their diets might not actually be that healthy. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the global demand for food. Thank you for watching.